What is up guys? We are back actively doing Q and A's to answer your guys' questions. Before the video goes any further, I am not a doctor. Do not do anything without your doctor's supervision. This video is all for informational and educational purposes only. If you guys wanna take part in the next Q and A, you wanna ask a question that would be on a YouTube video, make sure to follow my Instagram, Half Wicked Labs. And also if you guys need anything, check out the link in the description down below. So our first question, of course, a very popular question. Can I run MK677 next to a PCT coming off a Half Wicked bulk stack. So I assume what this question is asking is they ran a cycle of the bulk stack. They're going to do PCT and they're wondering if they can take MK677. MK677 is phenomenal for bridging between cycles. Number one, because it's non-suppressive to your natural testosterone. So it's not going to inhibit or take away from your post-cycle therapy. It's going to help maintain some of the gains you made from your cycle while aiding in your hair, skin, nails, allowing you to get deeper sleep. I mean, all the many benefits and also muscle retention. So I'd say it's definitely a really good thing to have if you're planning to bridge cycles and you know you want something to kind of help maintain a lot of the results that you made. And someone benefit by you using HGH for six months, what are the downsides after? Honestly, instead of the HGH, I would replace it with MK677. I'm gonna tell you a couple reasons why. Number one, HGH, if you're getting pharmacy grade, which I hope you are, if you're going underground, you're probably not gonna be getting HGH to be honest, but it's gonna be incredibly expensive. I'm talking so expensive, it's not even worth the money in my opinion. I would rather just spend it on other gear than I would the HGH. MK677 is gonna be a fraction of the cost. It's a growth hormone, it's a cretagogue, so it's not actually a SARM. And it's gonna benefit in pretty much identical ways as HGH. Now, as for the benefit uh, of taking it for six months, like HGH, MK677, the longer you run it, the better. It's not like a traditional cycle where you're running eight to 12 weeks, taking your post-cycle therapy, because it's non-suppressive to your natural testosterone. You're just gonna benefit the longer you take it. Now that doesn't mean take it indefinitely, not at all. You definitely wanna cycle off. And I would say just ironically at six months, I, that's usually when I recommend people to cycle off of MK677 or growth hormone. And the main reason is for insulin sensitivity. How much can you expect to gain on first MK677 cycle? Damn, you guys love the MK677 questions. Um, if you were to run it standalone, to be honest, probably not much. You're gonna, It'll aid in bulking for sure because the side effect of increase of hunger. So if you're having a hard time putting down your meals, getting your calories in, it definitely aids in that manner. Along with also, of course, putting on muscle mass, um, aiding in your overall health. But you're gonna have way more benefit if you were to run MK677 with some other type of anabolic for your lab rat. Because once again, think of MK677 like growth hormone. I don't really know anyone <laughs> off the top of my head that's running a growth hormone only cycle. And if they are, they're probably not that knowledgeable. You're gonna get infinitely more benefits and more results taking like a testosterone with HGH, taking D-ball, Anavar, Winstrol. I mean, any compound that's out there, T-ball, whatever it may be, because they basically work together. Growth hormone's gonna work in all the ways that growth hormone works. Then you have the anabolic that helps aid in the muscle. So if you wanna stick to kind of like the family of SARMs, then throwing in like an LGD if you're bulking or an RAD140 if you're cutting. Um, I don't know why you'd be taking MK677. I was never a fan of doing that while cutting. It's just incredibly hard with the increase of hunger and trying to be in a caloric deficit. But it's hard to say how much you would gain off of only an MK677 cycle, especially if you're writing it as a cycle, which I assume you probably mean like eight to 12 weeks, which we just touched on, the longer you run it, the better. So you're probably not gonna see much of a difference, maybe like a couple pounds. What to do for PCT for beginners. So I actually have a full video on this channel. If you guys just go to my videos, search PCT, you'll find it. It's a full in-depth guide, dosages, everything, how to run post cycle therapy, where to get it, which by the way, link in the description down below. Um, but you'll definitely want Clomid, Nova, HCG if possible. If you don't want to do any form of injection, then just go with the Clomid and Nova and that will do the trick. But once again, if you guys want like the full in-depth protocol and there's other YouTubers out there too, who have made some phenomenal PCT videos off the top of my head. I think Seth Ferrosi made a great PCT video. Probably Mark Lobliner made another great one as well. There's a lot of content creators out there who have made phenomenal PCT videos. But yeah, I also have one on this channel. You guys can search it up. So that concludes today's quick video. If you guys wanna take place, once again, in the next Q&A video, you have a question that you think not only you would benefit from, but others would benefit from as well. Shoot me a question on Half Wicked Labs. Once again, if you guys need anything, check out the link in the description down below. Also, 
halfwickedlabs.com is having some phenomenal deals. So if you guys wanna check it out, save some money and get some high purity, high quality, then I recommend you do it. Have fun experimenting on your lab rats. Stay safe, do your research, know what you're getting into. Leave in the comments down below your guys' thoughts, your experience taking cycles, maybe something pertaining to this video. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And just remember, be careful.